You know, my firm does participate or take on motorcycle accident cases. Why is it near and dear to me? Because I too am licensed to ride a motorcycle and am a motorcyclist. So I have a, an appreciation and a love and respect for that as an art form, you know, it's freeing, it's liberating. And so we're out there on the road and we're riding and doing what we do on our motorcycles. We just wanna have a good time. Unfortunately, when we're doing this, because it's so dangerous, you know, and because we have to be so careful and we have to always pay attention to detail, unfortunately, we can't catch everything. And so unfortunately, what happens is accidents occur. Your life is forever changed. Serious injuries come from motorcycle accidents. You want a lawyer that appreciates what it's like to be a motorcyclist and what it takes to be a good motorcycle rider and that then represents you in your best interest when you're injured. The most memorable motorcycle accident case to me was that of a gentleman named Richard Green. Uh, Mr. Green was a former Navy SEAL and he was a professional sous chef. Um, he was a great guy. He had a good spirit, good heart, and he loved riding a motorcycle like I do now. Uh, unfortunately, one day he was riding a motorcycle in the inner city, which is the most dangerous place to normally ride a motorcycle where there's more traffic, there's more harm or hazard. Uh, he was riding his motorcycle, minding his business. Unfortunately, he was cut off. And that's what happens typically in motorcycle accidents where we're riding and some motorist cuts us off. Those are the most dangerous. Those are the most typical. This, as a result, uh, caused Mr. Um, Green to suffer um, major catastrophic injuries to his lower extremities, okay, his, his both legs and his hips. This resulted in Mr. Uh, Green be, being disabled for not just months, but almost a year or year and a half. Okay, this forever changed his life. So what we were able to do, because we understand, you know, from the vantage point of the motorcyclist, what he did or did not do, as well as what law afforded him with regard to damages, we got a maximum recovery. So from that point, yes, he was injured, but he was then able to be fully rehabilitated and ultimately cured, if you will, or made, made to be physically able to go on with his life, but he had no worries financially and he was properly compensated and made whole via us getting a maximum recovery for Mr. Green.